dipped in the XTM 5500, so I thought I'd do a quick little overview of a Carbon E-Help. Um, and I'll give a shout out to Radar who um, designed this initially, and I just used his YouTube videos to slap together a quick design of this. It took about six weeks from design to producing it kind of on the side. Uh, obviously, this isn't my full-time job, so I'll just give you a quick overview. You can look at this in a little bit more detail, but there's the boom. I've got it connected to a uh, Eros Myth 2 harness, which has an aluminum frame. It's the unit on the harness. So basically what we have is a, a carbon fiber plate that is screwed down to the, um, uh, the aluminum frame in the harness. Uh, so it's bolted here, here, in four spots. Um, that goes through the, through the frame. Um, there is a uh, e-pull, so you can kill the kill the power by pulling on this rope. It's got a nice little T, and that velcros velcros on. The um, this is a 200 amp ES ESC. Um, it's a 12 S setup, so um, it's like 48 volts. The batteries clip in to these little spots. Um, it's running an Arduino as the uh, controller. Um, nothing fancy in terms of electronics, just runs the ESC. The two batteries plug in with XT90 connectors. Um, and the, the boom uh, has a pin that connects in right there. And it's just a guide so it won't go side to side. There. Um, as far as the con the throttle control, this is pretty similar to what someone you'd see on a on a mosquito. Um, a little on off switch so you can make sure you don't inadvertently bump it. Uh, and it's just a ASA 3D printed plastic with a carbon fiber tube that uh, slides up and down, and uh, you can. I'll stick it in my mouth so you can take Let's a look take at this how thing. It looks. Right in. I've connected the boom. It's a carbon fiber boom um, with a 3D printed uh, sleeve. There's a bolt that goes all the way through. This piece of aluminum uh, bolted onto the carbon fiber plate. Uh, the wires, the motor wires, run down through the tube, exit here. This is another piece of 3D printed. Um, it's, uh, it's actually polycarbonate uh, ABS mix with another carbon fiber tube coming down. It's just a little piece of ASA, um, 3D printed to keep the, the tube from sticking. That basically keeps it prop off the ground. Um, I forget what motor this is. It's the, uh, I think it's the Mad M20. This is a, I haven't flown with this motor yet. I flew with a, a weaker Alien Power Systems motor. Um, it just didn't have enough juice, but this, uh, this motor prop combo is a carbon fiber, um, uh, a drone VTOL prop. Um, it's, a, I think, a 36 by 14.6 pitch. Um, I don't have thrust uh, output for this motor prop setup. The old motor I had pulled 109 amps. Uh, and produced 22 kilograms of thrust. The thrust strand wasn't working. It was showing like 16 kilograms, which wasn't right, but it was pulling 150 amps. So I'm guessing the extra um, 41 amps, uh, I think it should be about 30 kilograms of static thrust, and it's a higher pitch than what I was previously uh, flying with. I can post a link to that, that video as well. I basically flew a Falcon 140 and was... Um, you know, able to get airborne, albeit, you know, only maybe five, 10 feet, climbing about 50 feet a minute. Um, and I never went prone. So I think if I got prone with this, an extra, you know, you know eight to 10 kilograms of thrust with a higher pitch on the prop um, should be able to, uh, to climb in at least a couple hundred feet a minute. The two batteries in just to show you what it looks like. Unfortunately, when I designed this, I did it off this specific battery. So these are bolted on these are bolted on can't really move it further back um without a you know more substantial um you know redesign uh i'm not going to bother putting the other you know battery on but i think you get a sense right now these are um 12 amp hour 6s batteries two in series um 
you could modify it to put a different battery, but it seems like a lot of work. Uh, you know, there's, you should actually watch some of Radar's postings on, you know, the batteries. I initially had them in, um, uh, fireproof bags, but I think based on his research, you're better off to leave them out in case they do flame up. The airflow should bring stuff off the back. You know, he was going with aluminum, specifically not 7075. I think he was going 6061. Uh, because it, it wouldn't, uh, you know, catch fire. I went carbon fiber. Obviously, these may melt. This may melt. The stuff could just fall off uh, in the event one of these things caught. But I think, you know, it's a pretty low risk. Um, definitely uh, running within the, um, you know, spec of these batteries. These are 15C, um, you know, probably running about half the uh, uh, half of what they can do. Um so anyone that's interested in this, I can post, if, if there's an interest, uh, happy to open source this, all of the, you know, 3D files for everything from the e poll everything's designed. Um, I think apart from this metal plate, which was actually CNC'd out of a C channel versus trying to cut the whole thing from a block, um, you know, everything's pretty accessible. Um, carbon fiber tube, this long one. Uh, that was from, you know, AliExpress. It took, you know, months to get here, but, uh, um, you know, maybe it's a hundred bucks. I think that's probably the, you know, one of the pricier things. The motor's pretty expensive. This motor's, I think, you know, 700, just doing it off the top of my head, and the props are about 250 each. Um, but all in, I think that the whole thing, it was about including batteries, maybe, you know, 1500 Fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, something around there uh, that you could make it. I mean, obviously, if you um, if you don't make the parts yourself and you outsource them, it's going to get a lot pricier. But um, there's a lot of different ways to design this. I mean, really, all you need to do is hinge the hinge a tube, mount a motor, um, connect it to an ESC, some batteries, and then um, you know get a throttle. Uh, it was really actually quite easy. Um, the motor here. Uh, this was actually kind of an interesting way I did it because um, it's a very small mount. There's a uh, a star bolt inside, uh, like a, I think it's a double star bolt inside the carbon fiber tube that you'd use on like a bike headlock. It goes pretty deep. And so this bolt goes all the way through that, um, goes through a carbon fiber plate that I see in seed. Um, and then it goes into that star bolt and at the end, there's a inside this there's a there's a ABS piece of plastic that I 3D printed, which keeps it so the bolt can't go up or down, so that it's pulled in here from the star bolt, but it can't move in any direction. So it could kind of un you know twist the, the star bolt in a way that it could pull out because that actually happened um, once when we were just driving around and the the prop hit or the, the motor hit something on the truck. It wasn't actually airborne, um, but so that's now more rigid. This is just a 3D printed piece that holds this plate and that plate is the bolt goes through so these are bolted to the motor and the pin the big bolt goes through the plate in here so it's kind of double double secure um you know this is bolted so it doesn't um uh pivot uh and then the last kind of piece and this took a little bit of you know just some trial and error just like you'd have on a on a mosquito is you got to get the line the, the length of this line um, to the back right so that when you uh, when you're prone it's in the right position and, and all the weight's not pulling up on the harness you know pulling up here uh, and not sitting here and also you want it nicely engaged so it's not hanging this way and that when you run and when you rock up this harness it comes up um, because this glider's on a I mean this harness is on a slider there was a little bit of a you know this would kind of play so it took a little bit of trial and error to get it right both in upright and prone. So upright when you're doing your takeoff run, and then prone when you when you go prone, you know it'll be in the right position, and then th this would actually be supporting weight. The, the 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 trick I found was you want the line as far back as you can. If you as you start moving the line uh, closer forward, it creates problems because of the slider. So the further back you get, the less that the slider influences the the thrust line. Um, based on prone or, or, or upright. But that's, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm not going to fire it up right now. I put the, the batteries in storage mode. Um, but, you know, for those that are interested that want something that they can, 
you know, easily make. I'm, I have zero interest in really making these for people, um, both from a liability perspective and a time perspective. It is quite intense, but I'm happy to, you know, open up the, the designs if anyone, um, you know, wants to make their own.